Hello and welcome to Stardew Valley. Good morning, Magnus. Were you like um, communing with some kind of a spirit or something? Staring at the wall like you were? Or maybe you were just trying to remember your name? Nah, have a nice day. Um, let's go see about tomorrow's weather. And today's luck. Tomorrow's weather will be snowy. And today's luck is... Somewhat mildly bad. Living off the land. Talks to us about those digging spots. Um, right. We've kind of known about them for ages by now, though. Right, Gabriel's birthday, so we'll give him some coffee. He'll love that. Also, sashimi. <gasps> oh my goodness! Aww. That is so cute. Look at that. Okay, stubby squid and um, was it dino octopus or what was it? Uh, you guys need to go into a fish dumbo octopus. Okay, so you two need to go into a fish tank. Like, absolutely. Um, I'll just need to expand my house first, I think. To, uh, have room to put you guys into a fish tank to show you off. You guys are way too cute to be sold or, or cooked or anything. So yeah, now we've got to upgrade our house and get a fish tank. Put those two cuties in it. Alright. Sashimi time. Well, actually. Um, let's just put these two away so I don't accidentally do anything to them. And also, that goes into there and... I guess we'll also want to put that in there and then sell some things. These ones. And um, yeah, these guys I'll make into sashimi. Getting that cooking exp a little by little. Um, I should find some kind of a go-to multi-ingredient recipe. I bet those would provide more cooking exp. Maybe after I'm done making sashimi. We should take a look at the different recipes we've got and uh, 
C. About a multi-ingredient recipe. So, um... Mm, let me see, Autumn's Bounty. Yam and pumpkin, only two ingredients. Mm, baked fish, sunfish and bream, nah. Uh, berry waffles. That could be doable. Wheat blueberry. Maple syrup. Nah. Cray mm. Marnay, crayfish and artichoke. Well, that could be doable. Escargot. Fish stew. Crayfish, mussel, periwinkle, tomato. Okay. Okay, so I'll have to save the uh, freshwater crab pot stuff for the fish stew. I think the fish stew is going to be a good one. We'll just have to make sure that we've got tomatoes. Because uh, we get those, um, what was it, periwinkle, crayfish, and, uh, and something. We get those a lot in the, uh, freshwater crab pots. Also, iced mint tea, as soon as we start getting tea leaves at the end of spring. Mmm, lobster bake. This I could make right now. I've got quite a few lobsters in the uh, marine crab pot chest. Ooh, salal berry. What are those? Um... Wait a minute. Parsnip soup? Well, I'm, we don't have parsnips right now anyway. Or do we? I think we have some. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of looking like the uh, fish. Was it fish soup or fish stew? Oh, stuffed potato might be good too. Make a baked potato first and then add cheese and mushrooms. Oh, and sugar with tea once we start getting tea leaves. Um... Right, so yeah, tomatoes and uh, freshwater crab pot stuff, we'll uh, need to make sure that we have some, where was it, um, well, I'll um, remember the ingredients anyway, so no need to check it again. Let's make some of that lobster, was it lobster bake? Yeah. And 
still we still have seven lobsters to be cooked. I'm saving the gold star one for Elliot. For like his birthday or something. Nobody loves this, so I guess we're just selling it. Yeah. Um, let's just check how much do 150, okay, that's 50, 80, 95, what about the, uh, that's a gold star lobster, so it sells for more than uh, the starless and silver star ones. So I guess making lobster bake doesn't really um, gain us any money, but neither does it lose us any. Oh, Magnus sent us the crafting recipe for a mini obelisk. And Emily wants to meet us in the secret woods after 10 p.m. Um, maybe we'll do that tomorrow. Today I, um, I kind of have other plans. I think I'll want to spend a nice chunk of time trash fishing. I don't think the star quality matters when hatching a chicken, right? So we'll make the gold star egg into void mayo. Hello. Yeah, we'll uh, do some socializing and some trash fishing. Uh, get our fishing level up a little and also at the same time. Um, get closer to completing the community cleanup quest. You're still fine. So when do you guys want to expand? Hmm. I'll have to keep an eye on that. These are not ready yet, but these are. Mm, let's grab the bok choy seed and radish seeds. Here we go. Put that back and... I think I'm going to keep these in the fridge. Right, and um, we'll want Robin to construct another fish pond. Well, we'll actually want a few more fish ponds. Um, ah, there, now I can actually see the quantity that I'm taking. So yeah, we'll have Robin start construction on another fish pond. Hmm, a 
only a 10, a 20. It'll be a bit before her door is open again. So maybe we should, um, like cut some grass or something. Oops. Well, those weren't going to grow in the winter anyway. It's fine. Alright, let's go. Robin? would like another fish pond. Uh, right here, please. Sashimi? All right. Robin at Max Hearts. Demetrius. We still have some ways to go with you. Uh, Sebastian. Actually, before we come see you, can we propose to somebody while we have a wedding scheduled? I guess I'll find out. A pike for Sandy. All right. I mean, the wedding is not going to fall on the same day because, um, it's going to be three days from now, so maybe. Poor Shane. Employee meeting. <laughs> They're not feeling very uh, happy about it. The regional manager is arriving tomorrow. Oh, everybody's going to be very busy. You're not even going to pay them extra for the extra work? Yeah, um, employees here aren't really in a very good position to make any kinds of demands. It's not really my place, but I do feel like I have to say something. Hey, I was just shopping here, minding my own business. But maybe your management style could use a little work. Yeah. See, um, overworking people like that all the time leads to, you know, like a, a poorer work performance. Hello, Claire. You love sunflowers? Okay. 
I've got some right here. I'll even give you a gold star sunflower. Oh, nice. Six hearts. Shane. Sashimi. Sam. Oh, I guess Sam isn't here right now. Morris. Sashimi. Hey, I didn't demand anything. I merely pointed out that you should treat people better. Let's go and buy a mermaid pendant and see if we can give it to... Oh, a new quest. Rock rejuvenation, absolutely. It's lovely and wonderfully psychedelic. You'll see. I have all of the gemstones needed. Maybe I'll wait till we're married and... Uh, then it'll be super convenient to just give those to her at our house. Here we go. Let's go see Sebastian. Elliot. Conveniently on the way here. Um... You like sashimi, right? Yeah, you do. Nice. Let's continue on our way. No forageables over here. Oh. Aerobics class today. But... It's a Monday. You guys are mistaken about the day. Oh. I guess you had a class scheduled for today then. Hello, Claire. Yeah, there is an aerobics class. They meet up once a week, on Tuesdays. Though for some reason they're meeting today as well. Your home in the countryside doesn't have many people. Well, maybe you should get more involved here. You were talking about maybe getting to know some more people here. If you want to. And it kind of sounded like you did when you said you'd been thinking about getting to know some more people here. At least she went in. Hello, Louis. Sashimi. Sam. Hi. You seem to be at eight hearts with us, so... Aww. <laughs> Abby? 
Abigail, hello. Sashimi. Sebastian. Hi. Oh, you're feeling gloomy. Well, this will fix that, hopefully. Oh. Okay, well, look, we'll see after my wedding. I mean, after my wedding to Emily, we'll see about our wedding. Y you know. Maru? Adventurer's Guild building should be open now. So maybe let's go see Gabriel and uh, give him the birthday coffee. There. That's our inventory a bit more organized. I'll hang on to the mermaid pendant and uh, see if I can get Sebastian to agree to my proposal after um, we've had the wedding with Emily. Gabriel? Not here. Hello, silly. Yeah, it is Gabriel's birthday today. I know it's not your birthday, but um, you get a gift too. Um, here you go. Gabriel? Not here. Hmm. He's usually always here. Well, let's go see if we can find him. people on the map here. Kind of difficult to spot him. Oh, Magnus has gone to his tower. I guess that is kind of sort of his place of business, maybe? So it makes sense that he'd go there every once in a while. Anyway, I think Gabriel is on his way up here, so we'll go meet him. Kenneth, hi. Oh, well, that is not something I could ever help you with. Hello, Gabriel. Yeah, I knew it. It's your birthday.
Um, also... Aww. <laughs> That's cute. So, um... What now? Do we just go trash fishing? Yeah, let's. We'll see how much trash we can fish, fish up before midnight. I don't think I had anything else planned for today. I'm pretty sure I didn't. Hopefully I didn't. Anyway, <laughs> let's fish. Oh, right. It may be better to cast closer to the, uh... Like a... N not so far out onto the water when fishing for trash. Also, uh, we're out of bait, so... It's taking a while for anything to bite. I think I'll let some bait accumulate into the chests, the uh, crab pot chests, and then I'll once again start taking some from those every once in a while. We need to wait a bit longer without bait, but it's fine. We've got plenty of time to complete the trash fishing quest or community cleanup quest. We're not in any particular hurry. It'll just be nice to get it done and off my mind. Especially since it's so easy to get done. Just takes a little bit of patience when uh, fishing up trash. We're probably doing pretty nicely with the uh, quest. I'll have to take a look at some point here. See where we're at with the number of trash we've fished up. Sadly, Joja Cola doesn't count, but everything else does. I mean, everything else that is trash does. Doja Cola is trash too, but uh, for some reason, doesn't count. Let's 
so just in case we come across any lava eels I'll try to remember to keep the buff on it'll maybe help us with the uh, catching Only 26 more. We can totally do this between today and tomorrow. Tomorrow? Mm, I think I might like to go and um, see Emily in the secret woods after 10 p.m. See what she's got planned for us. Yeah, we could totally um, level up our foraging tomorrow evening by cutting down some trees close to the entrance of the secret woods. And then once it gets to 10 p.m., we'll just uh, go into the secret woods to see the event. Yeah, I think that's the plan for tomorrow evening. Like, um, after 5 p.m., we might go into the, uh, forest area near the entrance to the secret woods and, uh, and cut down some trees while waiting for 10 p.m. to arrive. Before 5 p.m. though, tomorrow, well, we'll have to take a look at the birthdays. 22 more trash to be caught. Alright. I think we can do that. Hmm. Maybe not all of it tomorrow before 5 p.m. Or like, um, before we go into the forest. But we'll certainly get some of it done tomorrow. Yeah, it'll be nice to see what Emily has planned for us. It'll be a nice kind of end do the day tomorrow. And then after tomorrow, it'll be our wedding day. The day of our wedding with Emily. Alright, let's go home and to bed. Good night, Snowdrop, Magnus. Level 2 fishing and level 3 farming. Nice. And quite a bit of money.
right. So I will end this episode here and in the next one, well, we'll see about the birthday and then go trash fishing and wood chopping and see what Emily has planned for us for the, uh, for the night. Yeah, that's, that's the plan. For now though, thank you so much for spending time with me here on the Mellow. It was lovely to have you. Please remember to be kind to yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day. And I'll see you next time.